morning, good morning. I'm getting ready to do Baltimore Rewired. <clears throat> I'm going to show the other side of Baltimore, the other side of the war on drugs. I'm going to show you the role that the media plays in mis misinformation. I'm going to show you the politics behind the war on drugs. I'm a cater. I work for 85% of the richest people in this state. I came here straight out of the penitentiary in 1991 on an interstate compact. I've been doing a documentary about your corruption in your courts and your racism since 1986. State of Illinois versus Dwayne Davis, Google it. State of Illinois versus Dwayne Davis, 1986. I turned in guns and drugs to the police at the police station to end the war on drugs. Real shit. December 24th, 2007, I went to Lake County, Illinois to file a $2.5 billion class action lawsuit about the war on drugs. February the 6th, 2011, I turned in Scott Schellenberger, Greg Bernstein, and Governor O'Malley's mom machine about the war on drugs. You charged me with terrorism. You held me for 86 days illegally. You held me illegally. You presented false evidence to the grand jury. Matter of fact, you brought up the 86 case. So when you brought up the 86 case, you opened up Pandora's box about the war on drugs. So now I'm doing this thing called Baltimore Rewired, right here. It's called Baltimore Rewired. We're gonna get schools involved. We're gonna get activists involved. We're gonna bring out the good in the hood and show about this war on drugs and how it is just the money Ponzi scheme. We're gonna expose Governor Hogan and everybody involved. Like I said, I'm making a documentary called Baltimore Rewired. And I ain't gotta change nobody's name because we doing this through the courts legally. You feel me? So right here, that's CBS News. So I'm gonna call CBS News and I'm gonna give CBS News this. Calling CBS Audience Services. If you wish to leave a recorded comment about a CBS News or entertainment program, you may do so at the sound of the tone. We regret that we are unable to return phone calls. If you wish to send an email or get answers to popular questions, please go to cbs.com forward slash feedback. Thank you. Record your message at the tone. When you are finished, hang up or press pound for more options. Yes, my name is Dwayne Gerald Davis. I am calling about Gail King and legal mail I sent her. I am a whistleblower and I've been incarcerated and my life has been threatened by Baltimore City and Baltimore County Police Department. I need you to answer the mail that I sent you on September the 5th. Mail receipt number 7018-3090-001-87-0. Eight zero zero four. I need you to respond to that, and I need you to come to Baltimore. Uh, four four three eight three one 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 eight eight. You can Google Dwayne G. Davis. Got the mail receipt right here. You can also contact the Department of Justice, Mr. Robert Harding's office, and get my case file number. I got Governor O'Malley. Everything that I'm doing, I'm showing on video right now. If you go on Facebook, you can see it live. I'm putting up the mail receipt so the people can see it. I don't want to end up like Khalif Browder. I don't want to end up dead. And I want this story to be told. I want those officials to held accountable for kidnapping, for padding their pockets behind the war on drugs. You can contact President Trump as well. President Obama, President Trump, because this has been going on for 13 years. And I got everything documented. You can go straight to Johnny Oleski and get it. You can go to Judge Cox, Baltimore County, and get it. You go to Governor Hogan and get it. And you can go directly to Scott Schellenberger, the criminal at hand, and get all this information. It's called Baltimore Rewired. I'm going to show you the money behind Governor O'Malley's mom machine. And all you got to do is come to Baltimore. I got everything in the court records. I need you to respond to this. My life has been threatened by Baltimore City and Baltimore County Police Department. It's rough out here, and I ain't got no gun. All I got is a camera. All right. I don't want no misunderstandings. When I do this, I want it all. Like I said, Baltimore rewired. We're going to talk about the politics behind the war on drugs. We're going to talk about how you shield it. 
And if y'all got a problem with me, lock me up, because I blew the whistle in February. Scott Schellenberger need to go to jail and be disbarred. Ivan Bates know about it. Malcolm Ruff know about it. Warren Brown know about it. The White Pettit know about it. Murphy know about it. The NAACP know about it. The ACLU know about it. Dude, when I was doing this documentary, I crossed my T's and I dot my eyes. My paperwork in Chief Justice Roberts' hands. So if you put your hands on me, y'all gonna lose a lot. Now I gave it to Donald Trump because the enemy of my enemy is my friend. I don't give a shit about Donald Trump. Donald Trump don't give a shit about me. I'm like the Central Park Six. He put a bounty on my head if he can get away with it. So I'm gonna put a bounty on y'all's head. Get ready to file a class action lawsuit for the inmates behind the war on drugs. Since you brought up my case and you used my case to get an indictment, I'm gonna use that same indictment and get you sent to jail. And then I'm gonna sue you. I told you when I started this, you rather walk through hell with gasoline draws on than fuck with Shorty. Yeah, well I got the gas and you got the draws and I'm getting ready to light your ass on fire. You got a problem with me? Dog, come hobble at me. I go to jail for the right reasons. I go to jail, I get a jury of 12. When I get that jury of 12, your ass gonna go to jail. I know how to work a courtroom, and I know how to do the law. I ain't never paid for a lawyer in my life. So on that note, I'm asking for the University of Baltimore Law School, Kirk Smoke. I'm asking for the University of Maryland Law, Georgetown University Law, and American University Law students. We want to write a writ of sociority. I get three bites at the apple, the 86 case, the 2007 case, and the 2011 case. You took my property. You stole my property. I am Dred Scott. Do blacks have rights in which white America respects? We well, about to find out. I'm a whistleblower. I'm a caterer. I'm an independent filmmaker. I'm an activist. I applied for Martin Luther King's job. I don't need a million people to march. I need a million people to pay attention. They pay attention to dumb ass shit. I got a lot of dumb shit for you. And when you get that dumb shit, you're going to get this real shit. We talking about racism in Jim Crow in 2020. We talking about the face of racism in Jim Crow in 2020. Call me a liar. I fed all y'all. Never bite the hand that feeds you. And I don't fed all of Baltimore. You're gonna defend my rights or go to jail. The same way that Chicago went to, they, they did it in Chicago is called Operation Greylord. We're gonna do the same thing here. We're gonna go after your money. And I'm going to show them where to find the money. We're going to go on the, uh, uh, the comptroller's office and have an audit. Y'all don't give me no audit. I'm going to keep fucking with y'all. You got to give me an audit from 2007 and 2008. We're going to see where I went from $260,000 a year to zero. And we're going to see where that money went. Because the store was still open. Y'all was cashing checks. That store was still open and y'all was cashing checks. Brother Insurance participated in the fraud. SunTrust Bank participated in the fraud. Bank of America participated in the fraud. Peter Francott participated in the fraud. Doug Gansler participated in the fraud. We got consumer protection fraud rights. I'm a got sole proprietorship. That means it can't nobody run my store, run my business, or none of that shit. God can't even sign my fucking checks. Schellenberger knew this. Schellenberger charged me with the murder of Scott Greenberg. Go to the homicide detective that was the head of homicide for Scott Greenberg's case. I refused to come in and I sent him a videotape. Schellenberger also saw charged me with five other felonies. Schellenberger uses his office for prosecutorial discretion for personal and political gains. That's against the law. You charged me with terrorism. I beat you. You took the property for that. I beat you. You owe me for the truck. That was $6,000. The contents of that beagle, the contents of the vehicle, those 13 movies are worth $130 million. $130 million. My expert, li li my expert witness list is the who's who's in the Democratic Party of Maryland. And you're going to have to produce that material. GOP Carter going to tell why she ain't produced that material. All right. GOP Carter. Senator Pugh, Mayor Pugh. Dog, I've been following y'all since 2006. 
Governor O'Malley approved the program. He didn't know that the program was about him. Called entrapment. You read your laws about entrapment. I entrapped you. You called me a terrorist. When did I become a terrorist? Show me. Because I was a whistleblower. The same protections that you're giving the whistleblower that blew the whistle on Trump, you're going to get into me. You don't get into me, Trump going to get you. Trump don't get you, CBS don't get you. CBS don't get you, send this shit to Russia, China, Korea. Dude, we getting ready to get movies made. If I can't beat you in court, I'm going to beat you in the streets. Then I'm going to beat you on a silver screen. You running out of time. Air and opportunity is losing. Catch your breath. Take deep breaths because it's getting ready to take your air and your oxygen away. Gail King, CBS Radio. Are you for black America? Are you for America? Are you for rights? Because just like the Khalif Browder story, you got this in your hands. I'm not Khalif Browder. I'm not mentally ill. I'm not contemplating suicide. None of that. I gave you a jailhouse diary in Illinois, a jailhouse diary in Maryland, and show you the corruption inside the house. I ain't scared of going to jail. I ain't scared of dying. It's living is hard to do. And y'all got to live with me. It ain't fuck me, it's fuck you. I'm going to make a living off of pissing you the fuck off. And ain't shit you can do about it. See this? Apple TV, Amazon Prime, Netflix. We're getting ready to create a podcast. And then with the podcast, we're going to go to public access. I'm going to get an hour's worth of videos and an hour's worth of views from you every week. And I'm getting ready to put this shit together right in front of you. And ain't shit you can do about it. I'm going to John Hopkins University. I'm going to Towson University. And I'm going to get these students to be active in their communities. I'm going to get these students to be active. We're going to get TV. We don't even need TVs. All we got to do is use this. I don't need nothing else but a fucking cell phone. Click, aim, and shoot. Copy, paste, and send. Fuck you. I don't need friends. I need change. If you ain't part of a change, dog, drop me off your page. Mark Zuckerberg, we're getting ready to get everything that I've been sending you, everything that I had, all my videos. You got over 4,000 videos of mine that y'all done took off Facebook. We're going to use that as part of my whistleblowers application because I'm going to show you how to use social media for social change. Facebook, YouTube, MySpace, and Twitter. Don't get no sweeter. You feel me? Y'all was knocking my post down because my post was getting 5, 10, 15,000 views, so you had to shut that shit down. You don't want another Martin Luther King. You don't want another Martin Malcolm X. You want these self-serving demigods like Pastor Jamal Bryant. You want these pussy-ass motherfuckers like Al Sharpton. You want these self-serving demigods like Jesse Jackson. No. I want Martin's job. I'm going to give you some Martin Luther King. I'm going to give you some Malcolm X. Then I'm going to give you some Thurgood Marshall. And at the end of the day, I'm going to give you Marcus Garvey. We're going to take black out of America. President Trump said, if you don't like it here, leave. Motherfucker, put my name on the list. But give me my money before I go. Every nickel, every dime. I want my 40 acres and a mule. Then it's fuck you. Baltimore. We riot. We getting ready to do this there. Shorty's underground. We deep in the streets. Matter of fact, we international. You got a problem with me? Right now, holler at Gail King and ask her why she ain't told this story. Call Gail King and CBS News and ask him why they ain't told the story. Don't wait till I get killed and talk about, oh, here goes the story. No, you got the shit now. Oprah Winfrey got that shit now. I'm a black man in America. And my black women is leaving me out for the white man to get me. So you want to talk about white supremacy? Dog, check it out. Whoever signs your check owns you. And you ain't told a story about this black man. You ain't told a story about this black man in this white land. It ain't fuck me. It's fuck who? Dog, I ain't scared of dying. Mainstream media is getting ready to come to a, 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 a pitiful halt. Because social media is held by us. We run social media. You come to us. The streets run this shit. And I'm getting ready to run it. Might check that one.